Hey, we're pleased to be joined by Jake Elliott. Jake, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. So uh, you made history against the Washington football team. You went over 500 points scored in your career so far. What are your thoughts on that? And it happened so quickly. No one in the Eagles history has gone over 500 points in just 77 games. Yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, it's cool to see that stuff pop up. Um, you know, I, I'm totally unaware of all those stats going into it, so I see it as it comes. Obviously a cool honor, and it speaks volumes to our offense and all the opportunities they're giving me as well. So you've had a lot of great moments in your career, and I think of the 61-yarder against the Giants right away, but when you look at this season, so far through 14 games, is this the most complete season you've had to this point? Yeah, probably so. I mean, I think um, just in totality, you're just striking the ball really well. The operation's been as clean as it's ever been with Rick and Aaron. They're doing an unbelievable job, and the guys up front have been so clean. So it makes my job a lot easier. Um, so, so I would say, yeah, probably so. Tell me a little bit more about the operation. You got Rick Lovato, uh, the snapper, and the holder, and Aaron Sipas. Um, this process from snap to kick, what is that, like 0.5 seconds? Tell me a little bit about that process and where it is. Yeah, so we have 1.2, 1.3 from the snap to get the ball off. So once Aaron lifts his hand up, I'm already moving. So I'm approaching a target that's not there yet. So I like to explain it like this, like it's a golfer that's taking a shot, but the ball isn't on the ground yet. So oh it, it all it all happens really quick. So it's got to be really clean and, and Rick and Aaron do do such a good job making me so comfortable back there. I'm glad you mentioned golf. <laughs> I, I knew you'd like that. You and I both like the game. So what are the similarities? What are the things that when you when I look at a kicker and I see the motion and the movement, I just got to think that the discipline and some of the things has to relate to the game of golf. Yeah, there's a lot of similarities, which is why I think I, I enjoy the game so much, the game of golf, and then obviously the skill of kicking as well. You know, everything from swing path to ball striking. I mean, there's the RPMs on a golf ball compared to a football. There's just so many similarities. So it's easy for me to grasp certain ideas and, and translate on whether, whether I'm picking up a clue from golf and bringing it over to the kicking game or vice versa. So um, it, it's helpful, and I, I really enjoy that. One of the surprising things that I hear around this complex is when you ask the question, who's the best athlete on the team? Many times the answer comes back, Jake Elliott. Can you explain that? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I was just a I was a kid that grew up playing playing a million different sports. So I, I think I developed a lot of skills uh, throughout my childhood. And I really like to compete at everything I do, whether it's shooting a basketball around, playing ping pong, playing pool, wh whatever it may be. So it's something that I've always just really enjoyed um, the competition aspect of it. So I, I, I pick up on things pretty quickly. Jake, I wonder about one thing with kickers. Like, you seem to be on a hot streak. And I know many times when I'm in the booth, Marilyn mentioned that it's this number is consecutive kicks by Jake. Do you not talk about that? Like, say, like a pitcher when he's throwing a no-hitter and he doesn't want anybody in his ear, anybody talking about it. Well, do kickers take a similar approach to that? I would say yes and no. I, to be honest with you, like I am totally unaware of all of those numbers that are going on. Like it truly is a one kick mentality every time. It's cliche, but in the kicking world, you're only as good as your last kick. So I take that approach and I move on from every kick, whether good or bad. So like I said, just kind of totally unaware of all that stuff. Jake, we really enjoyed having you and good luck as you go forward to getting into the playoffs. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate it.